universities are not a safe place for conservative-minded people. Case in point, this recent example highlights a long string of abuses that conservatives face on the space, okay? You hear a lot of those fucking tradcon idiots like Ben Shapiro just say, oh, well, you just need to go out and you need to get your degree and you just need to keep your head down. You don't need to say anything and then you can just do the revolution from the outside. Cool. If you want to continue to facilitate this fucking garbage state that's there, that's great fucking advice. And even exposing stuff like this, which has been done for six, seven, eight years at this point, how long ago was that nonsense involving Halloween costumes at Yale University? 2014? 2016? I can't even remember. It's only gotten worse since then. Remember when Milo was a thing for a minute and he went to go speak at University of Berkeley and they fucking tried to burn the city down because oh my god gay conservative man has funny things he wants to say now you have a woman okay trying to bring a black conservative to come and speak and she's being hunted down because why exactly I just, i'm not gonna lie outside of those fake hate crimes that always seem to come out and it's like oh my god somebody wrote the n-word on the wall and then they checked the security camera it was a black guy who did it and it's like Every fucking time one of those stories comes out, I don't think that universities could get more hilarious and ridiculous. And then something like this comes out, which is just I, like a fucking mad lib, okay, when it comes to describing a story. A woman invites a black Republican to come speak, and she's chased out by the mob for reasons. Okay, terrifying moment. Uh, a female conservative University of Buffalo student is hunted down by woke mobs screaming, no justice, no peace after she invited prominent black republican to speak lieutenant colonel alan west was the speaker for an event in university of boston on thursday uh called america is not racist why american values are exceptional so a guy okay colonel alan west i just i, I calling him just a guy is a little bit underselling his incredible accomplishments you invite somebody who just shatters their worldview and then they spurg out like children this is at a university university they're like Eight, or ni 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds, okay, that are supposed to be there and they're acting like preschoolers. That just lets you know what's going on at these universities. Sure, I'm sure some of those kids that are there are trying to get legitimate degrees, but there's nothing left. To, there's nothing left at universities for anybody looking for knowledge, looking for education. All that's left is indoctrination. University of Buffalo students said that she was hunted down by the woke mob, screaming no justice, no peace. Okay, normally you get those fucking boilerplate claims and it's just impossible to back up, but there's video on this one, so I don't think we're going to play any of it, but we're going to see some stills because it was legitimately a mob screaming no justice, no peace after she just invited prominent black Republican Lieutenant Colonel Alan West uh, to speak on how he overcame racism. Wouldn't you think the people who are saying everything is racist, wouldn't you like to learn from this guy? Nah, he succeeded, and that's what they're against. It's a fundamental. That's what I'm thinking most of this stuff is about, and I probably ape this position from Jordan Peterson, but I'm pretty sure he's right on this one at one point, or at some form or fashion, okay? It's a hatred of competence, okay? It's the acceptance of the easiest path instead of being faced with the opportunity okay here's the ladder climb the ladder reach success ladders are hard we want escalators okay we just want to stand there do nothing and then just be applauded for our existence that's what these people want they don't want the opportunity to get better they don't want the opportunity they don't want the challenge to get better they just want to be applauded for existing they want the participation trophy of life they don't want the accomplishment opportunity no i guess it's just easier to be a victim than trying to be an achiever Therese Purcell, uh, president of the Young Americans for Freedom, a campus club that organized the event, said that she and her fellow members only wanted to bring these open dialogues of racism to campus. That's what they always said, at least at one point or another. Oh, we just want to have a conversation. Well, here's an opportunity to have a conversation. No, just shut them down. Don't platform them. They're evil. Cool. Great. And this isn't like... Okay, yeah, this it's in New York State, but this is Buffalo. This isn't like going down at NYU. This isn't going down at Cal. This isn't going down fucking University of Illinois. This is in Buffalo. This is upstate New York. You'd think that they'd be a little bit more understanding and uh, open to dialogue, but 
It's a university campus after all, and they're totally fucked in the head. But protests erupted after the failed to capacity event, leading to the angry mob that chased Purcell, leaving her afraid of what would have happened if she wasn't able to hide from them. Great, perfect. Remember what, again, I'm gonna bring up that Yale example. You're supposed to make a university our home. We're supposed to feel safe here. And now you're chasing people, you're chasing a woman for having the audacity to bring a black guy? Okay, cool. I thought we moved out of the 50s some fucking 70 years ago, okay? Despicable people. She shared her terrifying footage of the incident online and said it left her fearing for her life. She told Fox and, or Fox and Friends reported, sorry. I realized I was the target of these protesters. About 200 of my fellow students started hunting me down on campus, started chasing me. Purcell said uh, she heard the angry crowd, crown? I'm pretty sure crowd, screaming, uh, go get her, go get her, go get her, capture her, the girl in the red dress. Yeah, okay, this sounds like a lynch mob. Just saying. And you see, not a small mob by any estimation, okay? You can see somebody at the back there, and um, um, I guess we got some video here. I don't really need to show most of it, but as you can see, nice old crowd showing up that's there. And we got some more stills that are there. A bunch of indoctrinated folks with their um, very expensive phones where they like to tweet about the perils and evils of capitalism. Making sure to record the event where, again, they're chasing a woman for letting a black guy come and talk. You can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. So I don't know how these people reconcile this. It's like, as you can see, we got a lot of faces of color that are out there. So what do you, what exactly are you protesting again? Purcell barely escaped the mob as she was pulled into the bathroom by a friend and called 911. But Purcell added that even inside the bathroom, she heard the mob yelling uh, that they need to find her. Very astute mob, by the way, if you can't figure out that yeah, she went to like a, a, a doorway and uh, a bathroom. Seems like one of the first places that you'd want to hide. But Purcell add, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm very afraid of what would have happened to me if I wouldn't been able to avoid them. I don't think they were going to do anything uh, remotely peaceful, uh, Purcell told Fox and Friends on Monday. Uh, they were a very angry mob. They were clearly saying that they were trying to chase me and they wanted to capture me. Purcell spoke uh, oh, spoke out Monday about the terrifying moment. Uh, she was... Oh, she says she was hunted down, which made her afraid for her life. Tensions rose during the Q&A session, uh, just following the speech made by Colonel or Lieutenant Colonel Alan West at Thursday night's event called America is not racist, why American values are exceptional. And again, if you have disagreements, you could have a good faith argument, but that's, that's long and dead. You can't expect a decent conversation between leftists and average people at this point because they're just so hell-bent on their ideology. They hate everything about Western society. What makes Western society good and worthwhile? They hate it so fundamentally that any engagement in that conversation is verboten from their point of view. Free speech, capitalism, patriotism, that's just all some sort of a power game. It's all a power struggle. It's just used as a means to oppress the, the downtrodden or whatever other fucking mental gymnastics they'd throw out there. We could lay out exactly what they're all about. They're just about overthrowing the system, okay? But instead of trying to challenge ideas and do it peacefully, no, they just got to a point where we're just gonna burn everything down. Hopefully that's all right with you, because if it's not, then you'll just be dead inside the fire. We're not quite at the violence part yet, because they didn't succeed at getting her. We aren't quite at the firebombing part yet but we're close we're close every once in a while something like that happens but hopefully we can forestall that from happening and how do you do that leave the universities to burn okay they're done it, it's done it's dusted it's too fucking far gone if you're a normal person okay even if you're center left which you shouldn't be even remotely left at this point if you're center and going forward right anything like that don't go to universities at least don't go in person okay if you want to get a degree you got to do it online okay or you can go to a trade school i know it seems antiquated and a little bit too much of a boilerplate response but really you shouldn't be supporting these in or these institutions that fundamentally hate you 
They hate you because they support and they allow actions like this mob to foment and fester. Okay, yeah, I'm sure they might get punished for their actions. But the fact of the matter is, there was enough of them that came together and felt emboldened by not facing any consequences to act out like this. They're gone, dude. There's no reforming these institutions. So stop supporting places that fundamentally hate your existence. Cell said students inside the building began yelling and... Oh, began protesting and yelling, along with hundreds of others who gathered outside the event. You know, while they were screaming uh, that we were trying to silence black voices. Again, they're screaming, trying to silence black voices. Got it. Got it. We were actually trying to bring this conversation to campus, but instead of asking questions, they resorted to violence. Like toddlers. Like fucking mental toddlers. These kids never advanced any farther than their kindergarten conditioning. It's... It's impressive how far you can get in life when you're just totally sheltered from everything going on. But yeah, we could give you the accolades of uh, Lieutenant Colonel West, but um, long and short of it is, uh, the dude's done a lot of things. He is by no means, I can't believe I have to say this, racist or anything like that. Most mainstream people, I can't think of a single mainstream person. On the right, what the left, what this mob would say is racist is actually fucking racist, okay? The only people that are racist in society right now are those people, okay? They're the ones who want segregation. They're the ones who think that all the problems and perils in life are white people's problems, okay? They can lump everything on them. They can call them names. They can exclude them from events. But that's fine because anti-racism or whatever the fuck the new speak is. These are hard times that were created by soft men. But there's hope because... If it's just the radicals that are going to be left in these institutions, in these universities, they won't be able. Because you see this every time a company, every time a corporation trying to sell something on the back of a woke product, they always go broke. It's a meme for a reason because it fucking bears out. It is true. If that's what happens to the universities, if that's all that's left that's there... It's just going to be a government money pit or they're all just going to fucking flounder out. There's going to be six that are left that are just run by the state. That's what'll happen. So we'll just stand on the sidelines and fucking applaud it. Don't bother trying to do any of this stuff anymore. And even better, don't even bother, bother fucking going anymore. With all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. Once you follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.